Today, we're going to take a look at the arrests of two different individuals and how, while they came from different generations, different cities, and different economic places in society, the differences aren't what we're interested in. It's the similarities of the situation. Can I get out of here? Please let me out. I live in a $3 million house right down the street, and you won't let me out of my neighborhood. Join us as we take a look at a tale of two Karens. Before we start, we would like to say that in both cases, the women involved are arrested and charged with serious crimes. One was for a domestic violence incident and the other an attempt to drive recklessly through a town's Thanksgiving Day fun run event. Luckily, no one was injured in either event. Also, please note that neither of these cases has come to trial as of this video. All the charges are still alleged to have happened, and the accused are presumed innocent until proven otherwise. Hi folks, we'd like to take a moment to introduce you to our sponsor today, Toon Blast. Toon Blast is a unique puzzle game with over 7,000 individual levels that will challenge and entertain you. In the game, you will take part in a never-ending adventurous road trip with Bruno Bear, Cooper Cat, and Wally Wolf, three very modern and very classic tunes. Each puzzle completed moves you further along in their journey with bigger challenges and awards awaiting for your discovery. Toon Blast is free, and if you download it now using the link in our video description, you can receive three hours of unlimited lives and 100 free coins. Once again, it's free, and you don't even need Wi-Fi to play it. So, it's the ultimate take-anywhere pastime. Toon Blast is amazing fun solo, but you can also join teams with people from around the globe to combine your efforts to claim awesome rewards. This is just one of those games you can't put down once you pick it up. We loved working our way through the puzzles, each one a bit more challenging than the last, and the mini puzzles where you help save Bruno, Cooper, and Wally from their predicaments. It's really a blast. So take a moment and download Toon Blast from our link below and join the hijinks and fun. Grab it now from our link and get those three hours of free lives and 100 coins. Maybe we'll see you out there in this mystical, magical road trip with our two friends. All right, first, let's head to Eddy County, New Mexico, located at the southern part of the state near the Texas border. It's home to the Carlsbad Caverns National Park. It is a small community with a modest economy. In this video, local police have responded to the call of a domestic violence happening in the street of a neighborhood. The male victim of the crime was reluctant to become involved. The female, who was located just a short distance away, pretty much felt that she had done nothing wrong. Then she leaned heavily into stage one of a Karen arrest and begins to argue with the police. So what's going on? So what's your relationship with this guy? Uh, that's my boyfriend for about a year now. Oh, good. And so what's going on between you two? It's still a verbal argument. Jay, it's more than a verbal argument because we had people calling in saying that a female was hanging on the shirt of a male Right <laughs> and there is screaming. So when someone batters another person in a domestic did violence. Did see that or did they just hear us arguing? Because I yell. I yelled like a mother. I didn't like it. It's not even him half the time. Me. Just, I will completely say that. I'll go to jail by now for that. Okay. That's me. Let's now move to our other case as it enters stage one of a Karen arrest. This time we're in the wealthy town of St. Petersburg, Florida, and the person being arrested is more than happy to explain her place on the economic scale. She moves right into arguing with the officers. It's freaking Thanksgiving. I just got a divorce. My son <laughs> daughter's not with me. Can you step out the car, please? What in the is this? I'm trying to get home. Step out the car, please, ma'am. Yes, sir. What? No. They, no. What are you doing? Are you kidding me? Can somebody come to car for you? No. I don't have anybody. You guys. Please don't. Now we move to stage two of a Karen arrest. 
the ramping things up stage. Our person in St. Petersburg is quickly placed in the backseat of a police vehicle and begins to let everyone in the area know how she feels. Ah! Like, why are you letting her through when I can't get through? You realize what you did, though? I'm trying to get to my neighborhood! Seriously, guys, I just got a divorce from the most evil man ever. Please, I really, I'm sorry. You could I just have killed one of these people running. You know that? No, I did not. You could have killed. One I of didn't. People. Wasn't anywhere near them. They told me to beat the people over here. Then a quick appeal to why they shouldn't be treating her this way. And you won't let me out my neighborhood. Let me get your pepper spray. Yep. If you do that, ah! I'm going to pepper spray you. You got I me? I mean, I'm turned. I'm going to pepper spray you. If Dude, you... I live in a $3 million house okay. down the street. Just hear Can me you out. write me up? Just I'm going to lose me. my daughter today. Listen to me carefully. Look at this. Yes, How yes, long yes, has yes. this been for? You're arrested. All right? I can't change that. It is for what? what? It, it is what it is. This leads to police having to further persuade her to cooperate and comply with them. Uh, this part never really goes well. Ah! Ah! You don't get what I just went through. Like at all. I just want to f go home. You don't get it. I went through a three-year divorce. The fuck I took all my money. I'm fighting for my kid back. Look, you're killing me! Okay. You're killing me! <laughs> this, is, this is so tight! Huh? I'm a resident of this neighborhood! <laughs> oh my god! It's so tight! I'm trying to judge. <laughs> What's your first name? Ashley! With two E's! Can I get out of here? I live in a three million dollar house with these assholes! No, you did not! Get back in the car now. Back in the car. Get back in the car. Please note the entirely appropriate t-shirt that she's wearing from Def Leppard's 1987-1988 Hysteria Tour. As our St. Petersburg Karen really begins to crank up the heat, let's check on our New Mexico participant. And we've moved straight to the cuffs here. F you! Oh, hey, respectfully, do not touch her like that. I'm telling you, respectfully, do not touch her like that. Stop. Tries to kick me? F you! She just broke my glasses. It probably doesn't have to be said, but for those taking notes at home, Scorpion kicking a police officer in the face is not a ticket to success in these situations. Am I getting arrested? No, no, no. Her boyfriend, after being loaded into another nearby police car, does warn her to calm down. That doesn't work at all. She kicked me in the face. Uh, hey, stop. Oh, you're so much of stop. 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 I hope she's gonna buy me some new glasses. Hang on, let me go get my shots. Let go. Now. Let go. Let go. Call him mother Call my uncle Ryan. One request. Yes, ma'am. Go tell my mom. What the? Now I'm gonna warn the jail. Okay. For him. No. Go tell her. Hey. Go tell my mom I'm going to jail. Okay, we we will. No. No, do it first. Stop. Mom, she's going to jail. Go tell her. Okay, come on. Have a seat. Come on, sit up in there. 
Okay, so the police have gotten her into their car. Normally, in television or movie dramas, this leads to a quick ride to the station and everybody gets to take a breather. Not in a Karen arrest, no. Generally, this moves into the solo part of the performance. Welcome to stage three, the Karen freakout. Let's check in on St. Petersburg. Spray. We haven't stopped that. Man. We're gonna get sprayed again. Stop! This is inhumane, dude! <laughs> Can I get out of here? Can I please call my little one's dad or somebody? I, why am I being treated like a piece of shit? I did, why did you spray me with more pepper spray? banging your head against my window trying to break it. No, I'm trying to hurt my head. I'm not trying to break your car. I'm trying to hurt myself. Oh, yeah. Full stage three. New Mexico? No! <laughs> For those who have never been in the back of a modern police car, note how the seats, doors, and overall environment is designed to minimize potential damage to the detainee and to the vehicle itself. They are designed to be easily hosed out if necessary. Stage four is generally a bit of a rest for the participants. During this phase, there is usually a bit of conversation. Sometimes it starts off nice, and then there's a bit of bargaining, and oftentimes the do you know who I am or the what's it going to take to get me out of here comes into the play. Please, I've lived here for 13 years. It was inappropriate of me. These runners are super important. The turkey trot bullshit, super important. Please let me out. I would be so, officer, I, officers, I would be so appreciative if you wrote me as many big tickets and, and write-ups and arrests and just let me not go to jail today. I've ruined everybody's plans trying to get me out. If you, if you guys want to drive me to my house and take my car, I'm right down the street. I would be so thankful on Thanksgiving for you guys not to bring me all the way to the jail. In New Mexico, stage four is taking place at a local hospital where the detainee has been taken for treatment to an abrasion on her knee. All right, Mr. Rodriguez. Okay, we're going to get you out of the wheelchair. Go ahead and stand up. I'm f***ing crippled, bro. I'm going to help you out. Let you use the bathroom, okay? I'm going to spit on you. I promise. Promise? Yes. I really do promise I ain't going to spit on you. I'm no. sorry. Nothing's over here. Come over here. Yes, sir. Sorry. Okay. Hey, <laughs> the ankle one? <laughs> Relax, okay, so I can adjust this. Um, I'm just gonna walk over there and see what the f you're doing. I'm gonna have a seat. Can you walk with me then? Can't go over there. You can't? No. Nope. Or you just don't want to? We can't. You're in custody. So... I have to have it here. I have to take you to jail. I can't even go to my mom's shop right now. I don't know. Oh, ma'am, I apologize, but I can't make any of the stuff. So what the f***? I just sit here and say what? No, we're going to jail. Yeah, so what the f*** do I say? Hey, I'm in jail because I didn't have a f***ing ID. What the f*** do you want me to say, bro? What do you want me to say? How much you want me to pay you? How much? What's worth it for you? What? What do you want? Uh, don't talk like that. You'll just get yourself in more trouble. This is just a lull in the battle, though. Stage five is another round of kicking and screaming. Now that the Karen has had a chance to catch her breath, the stage often includes questioning the officer's manhood and intelligence. My face is falling off. I'm sorry, all my fake fingernails came off. I will vacuum your car for you. This was really appropriate, like, like the housewife on Snell Isle getting pepper sprayed and thrown in the in the back of your car during a, a f turkey trot run. Does this make you guys feel like you have big ass balls or something? Little short d police officers. 
I hope you know this is inhumane, and I will try you just like I'm trying Judge Hellinger with the federal court. Would somebody like to wipe my face? Please don't play on my phone. You have no right to go through all my naked pictures, you freaking weirdos. Your phone's back in your car. Right yeah? Awesome. These are f***ing losers. And now back to our New Mexico participant. You got that weapon? Can you shoot me in the head? Yeah? Shut the f*** Hey, knock it off. You didn't let me out or what? Because I didn't do s*** to you. I didn't do s*** to you. So I didn't get the f*** out like a normal person. So I know drug dealer, I know junkie y'all. This is kind of stage 5B, the transfer. Somewhere in most of these arrests, the detainee will need to be transferred, either from one police car to another or from the police car to the intake facility at the local jail. While this would make an excellent spot for an intermission, a peaceful moment to gather oneself, it never really works out that way. Hey, hang on one second. Wait a minute. Wait, wait. Hey, look. You know I'm a Snow Isle resident? Yes, yeah, and you're embarrassing yourself. Stop. No, I'm not embarrassing myself. I'm a fucking mom on Snow Isle, and you guys fucking arrested me, pepper sprayed me three times. Twice. Do you want to see my boobs too? This is so disgusting! But now, the New Mexico detainee has reached the jail and her demeanor begins to change. She would like to be treated with the respect due to a lady. Now, one should note that during the arrest, the arresting officer has been calm and collected throughout, maintaining his professionalism in these extreme circumstances. Not if you're kicking the door. I ain't gonna act like a lady, but if you are, you should be in the back of the car. Step over this way. Act like a lady? Any other way. Step over this way. Here, look. We should probably check on our person in St. Petersburg as her arrest winds down as well. But no, she has decided to move on to the bonus round. And now there is more of a freestyle blame throwing event going on. I'm, I'm sorry, I didn't. I was just seeing my daughter today. Like, I literally just got through the worst three year divorce ever. And it was not right of me to get mad. I couldn't drive fast. I didn't. <laughs> Well, unfortunately, you know. Unfortunately, I get pepper sprayed. Well, and my whole life ruined. It, your life isn't ruined. It's ruined. It, it really. I isn't. already lost my daughter, uh, and my mom died. My dad died. I lost my career. Well, you didn't. You said you didn't lose her because you're about to go see her, right? I, I lost custody. Okay. Well, because Judge Hellinger was biased, and I have to try the entire thing. So after spending eight hundred thousand dollars on lawyers and accountants, I have to go right back in. It's been awful. I'm just asking for them to be kind so I wouldn't have to ask any family members to get me from jail. I'm happy to go to any hearing or court or whatever need be. I, I'm just, I mean, I don't, I don't have anybody really to call to even come get me. When you get out of here, your life isn't ruined. Your life isn't over. What I do suggest is that you go find a really good therapist. I have 17 of them, girl. You don't well, even know. They're not working then. Because... No, they're not. Do you want to know why? Because I was tortured by a narcissist well, and by the court system for three solid years. Well, these bad decisions keep happening until you work through your problems. This is one bad decision. Well, a few in a row, you're right. Uh, yeah, yeah. So would you like to look at my record and see no, if I've ever had I'm any other bad you. decisions? Do you, like, you, you don't I even... get it. This I'm is the effect you. of my awful divorce I was angry and, and yes, had an attitude with officers, so yeah. so I deserve getting pepper sprayed no. and, f and my shoes taken off. Okay. The officer offers her some truly valuable advice. I have no arrest records. I have a clean record. You're right, but... Yeah, you, it's nice and relatable, but unless you're going to unlock me, let me out of the car, I don't really feel the need for this conversation. Sometimes there's accountability for your actions, right? Yes, I'm accountable for being angry... And, and not driving properly, okay? I didn't put anybody in danger because I wasn't near anybody, 
but I was that driving you saw, but unruly. Right on the route. Yeah, you yeah, were. I know. I could see people because my eyes were open, but um, no, I didn't hurt anybody. I drove a little unruly, and you f faces like this. So that's fine. I cannot wait to put it all over the f social media. Okay. And take you guys down. Are, are you under the influence of any kind of narcotics or anything? No, right I'm not. Okay. I, I just don't give a sh. Well, I'm sorry about that. Why? Why you think I'm supposed to be quiet and not put down the St. Pete Police Department all over social media after this? This is what I do. That is a power that I have made with social media. I have an opinion and a voice. Okay. Yeah. Well. Between you guys, and then I'm also doing a full-blown appeal on Judge Hellinger to have him f***ing removed. Because I was just given the most unfair trial ever. Rather than heeding some well-meant suggestions, our St. Petersburg Karen decides it's better to, well, completely jump the shark. And what am I, some black, like, kid on a bike who's in the wrong neighborhood? And what? you guys beat me down with all this pepper spray like because that's what you guys do you're treating me like one of those kids on a bike that drove up from like like the yeah well now you're being ignorant no i'm, I'm really not, not. Yeah, no, that's ridiculous. no you're definitely treating me like no, a colored person yep and then let's go ahead and double down on those statements you guys having fun this morning did i give you guys a whole bunch of entertainment today so you guys can all like huddle around and talk about the crazy white woman that you pepper sprayed on Thanksgiving. Because you guys are f***ing pieces of shit. I can't wait to take you guys to court. Still, there's room left for a heartfelt apology and an understanding that she just made the situation so much worse for herself. Of course, she chooses instead to take another swipe at the professionalism of the police and another swing at poor people. You psychopaths, you guys are... I cannot wait to take this to court and put it all over the internet. Maybe if you um, actually, like, I don't know, worried about crime, like, it would be a safer, like, town. Instead, we have bums creeping all over downtown, and, and, and you guys don't give a shit. You want to arrest the white woman in her neighborhood because um, she, you didn't like the way she was driving during a f***ing turkey trot. You're just cranky as f because you have to work today. And you probably just want to sit around and eat a bunch of turkey, huh? In the New Mexico case, she was charged with domestic battery, resisting arrest, battery on a police officer, assault upon a peace officer, and a criminal damage to property. In St. Petersburg, she was charged with a number of offenses, including resisting an officer. The incident she was involved in included driving in excess of 70 miles an hour in a residential area fleeing and eluding law enforcement officers. Had she not been stopped at the barricade, she would have entered the part of the race course where some 3,000 entrants were participating in an annual coffee pot turkey trot 5K. It could have been a massive tragedy. Truly, we have to consider that in both of these cases, the two women may have been having the worst days of their lives, and it was just a terrible moment in an otherwise normal life. are better things that they will do. For the police officers involved, we have to give them a moment of praise as they did their jobs, remained professional, and showed more restraint than most of us would have in that moment. Perhaps we should remember that these kinds of encounters happen for them on a nearly daily basis. For those who keep their cool and keep the peace, we should offer them all our respect. If you know someone who is the victim of domestic violence, please seek help and don't allow yourself to become a victim of continued abuse or even worse. Check your local area for domestic violence survivor resources or call the National Domestic Violence Hotline at 800-799-7233. You can also simply text the word START to 88788. There are people who care and will help you. If you found this case compelling, don't forget to like the video, comment down below your take on it, and please subscribe to the channel. Also hit the notification bell in order to stay up to date each time we reveal a new shocking case. Until next time, stay safe and keep your eyes peeled. You never know what's lurking in the shadows. 
Download Tune Blast from our link below and get those three hours of free lives and 100 coins.